When printing PLA, uh, I found it's best to print on direct glass, no, uh, no surface preparation. Um, my plate looks orange here because I do have cap tent tape on the bottom layer. I do flip it over when I print ABS. Um, but for PLA, uh, direct to glass with a 60 degree Celsius uh, temperature for the bed seems to work pretty well. The part uh, bonds very, very well to the uh, bed. Uh, I don't have any issues with any kind of corner lifting or any of that sort. Um, and then as soon as the bed uh, cools down to about 25 to maybe 30 Celsius, it, uh, the part will just jump right off the board usually. Um, one of the cool tricks you can do with this is um, if you are not near your printer but you're able to monitor it remotely, um, you can just write G-code to have the extruder kick the part off of the, por uh, off of the board when you're done. Um, I managed to add G-code to my library and uh, simplify 3D to do just that. Um, this is a two-hour print for this uh, part for another 3D printer that I'm building and uh, when I'm at the office I don't uh, have the ability to obviously uh, come home and remove the part from the board so I just let the uh, extruder do it. So in a moment here, once the uh, once the bed uh, reaches 25 Celsius, um, the G-code should kick off automatically to uh, kick the part off the board. It does a series of operations. First, it'll move the head um, into the uh, empty spot here, and then kick it into the uh, negative Y direction away from the Z tower, which should knock it off the front of the uh, the board here. And then it uh, will run a couple of uh, wipes across the uh, plate to try to remove the uh, the skirt here as well. It usually comes off with the main part, but I just wanted to be sure. Um, so uh, once it kicks off here, it's about 26 uh, Celsius, so it should start up here. And there it goes. And it looks like it's not gonna get the skirt entirely this time, but that's all right. A little bit of extra skirt material is not going to hurt anything for the next print. But I just figured I would uh, throw a video up on here just to uh, demonstrate that. And there's the part sitting on my table ready for the next print. So uh, once, the, uh, once the hot end and the uh, bed come back up to temp, it'll start the next print. So you gotta figure out some way of getting the uh, the skirt off 100%. Usually, like I said, it comes off with the part, but this time it did not. There's a little bit too good of a bed adhesion over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cheat here a little bit and just remove it. It is a little bit sticky, it looks like. So there's a little bit of remnants here from the last time I did this as well. It wasn't a completely clean bed when I started last time because I did a similar trick when I was at the office. But, uh, Hopefully that'll uh, um, give some uh, some credit and some credence to the uh, concept of printing direct to bare glass. It works pretty well for PLA. Hope you enjoyed.